Tonight on What the F is Up with America's Hat, Canada honors a Nazi. Last Friday, a 98-year-old Ukrainian who was a member of a notorious Nazi SS unit during World War II was lauded as a hero and even got a standing ovation in Parliament. Watch. We have here in the chamber today Ukrainian-Canadian world veteran from the Second World War who fought the Ukrainian independence against the Russians and continues to support the troops today even at his age of 98. Amazing. So a literal Nazi got a standing ovation. It's ironic, considering just last year, a Canadian member of parliament linked actual car horns at the trucker protests to Nazism. Roll it. How much vitriol do we have to see of honk honk, which is an acronym for Hail Hitler, do we need to see by these protesters on social media? So you see, it's perfectly okay to condemn people who aren't Nazis by calling them Nazis. And then when you have a real Nazi in front of you, you stand up and you applaud. It's almost like they can not see. <laughs> You got to smile. <laughs> angry today. Yes. Just angry. Kennedy, in Canada, apparently being an unvaxxed trucker is worse than being an actual yeah, Nazi. An actual Nazi. Yes. Not hard. I mean, if only we each had a personal device in our possession at all times, yeah. which gave us access to every piece of information ever generated by human. Oh, wait, we do. So anyone could have Googled this guy and seen that. There were other people who were also fighting the Russians. Right. Those were the Nazis. Mm -hmm. So this guy was, you know, he's being lauded as a hero because Ukraine. Like, people are so simplistic, like, oh, he fought for Ukrainian independence. He's a regular Zelensky. But really, it just goes to show us how does Justin Trudeau tie his shoes? Mm -hmm. In little Nazis. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, the thing is, um, it, it, right now in this narrative, Ru Russians have to be the bad guy. So, you know, he's a Nazi, but he fought the Russians. So yeah. there you go. <laughs> this is nuts. Yeah. This, I mean, really, I just, I, I, this one almost made my head explode. This is one of those things you do double check. This has got to be Right, I'm like, oh. yes. I thought it. I thought it was a total <laughs> yeah, prank. I'm like, no way. This is one of these things they made up. And you're like, no. They really, they really gave this guy a standing ovation. And again, World War II, uh, fighting the Russians. I'm like, well, that, we weren't fighting the. Wait a minute. Who? What the? <laughs> wait a minute. Who the? Only. What? I, it's just. It's not. It's, and then they had the uniform. I mean, it's, it's. This is so bizarre. But you're right, though. This whole Ukrainian fever thing. It's like. And I think they're going, listen, it's, it's, people want Russia to be kicked out of the country, but they're losing so much uh, because all of the billions are unaccounted for. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's going on. The Nothing. strategies seem flawed. Americans are certainly saying, you know what, maybe let's pause this a minute. And, and now it's going to become, if you say this publicly, you're going to start to be denounced. We're going to, you start going against this publicly, you'll be treated worse than this World War II hero. Right, exactly. He fought in the World War II. <laughs> A lot of people did. What side was he on? Yeah. <laughs> Tyrus, is it, is it a decent excuse to say that they didn't know? No, this is why I never clap in groups. Okay? <laughs> it's so true. When you see a bunch of people get up and clap, be like me. No. <laughs> I'm waiting. I did not watch this, but as soon as I heard him say he fought Russia in World War II, my hands would have been under my... Nope, I got to... No, sit down. Sit down, everybody. The Nazis fought Russia. Like, you didn't even have to know history to know that something was wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But because they used the magic word, Ukraine, you put Ukraine in a sentence now against anything. If you, like, the Easter Bunny did not deliver eggs to Ukraine. Yeah. Children everywhere would be like, the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny... <laughs> We're cutting rabbit stew is on sale. Bugs Bunny is canceled. No more rabbits. Rabbits are out. They're done. 
They didn't stand with Ukraine. Yes, exactly. Oh, my but God. But a Nazi bunny. Yeah, a Nazi. Na- <clears throat> <laughs> yes. You know, maybe Canada's trying to say, Jim, you know, we've, we're being too hard on the Nazis. <laughs> you know, maybe we should give the Nazis a second look. Yeah. This gentle old man, he's 98 after all. He can't hurt a fly. Well, first of all, a 98-year-old man with a questionable past, you know, <laughs> Joe Biden's got some competition now. <laughs> But, like, for, how does Canada not know the background of this yeah. guy? I go there to get in the country. They know everything about you. You got a parking ticket 15 years ago. Why didn't you pay it? Mm-hmm. I think they brought up one time I broke up my girlfriend on her birthday. They go, what, what was that all about? <laughs> they knew that. <laughs> I go, I just didn't know what to get her. What are they going to do? It's kind of scary to think that, like, I feel like when you're looking at Canada, you're looking at us about six months later. Because they're, I mean, they're, they're having similar issues, but it's actually... It's actually worse there. Is he that- knew that he, when he brought him in, he was nervous. Yeah. He knew what he did. He wasn't like Biden. He remembers. And when they cheered for him, I think he stood up like bucket list, like. <laughs> what? <laughs> Didn't you All read right. my bio? <clears throat> <laughs> Didn't you read my bio? <laughs> so- now you got to be worried about in Canada. Like if you're, you're in a road rage thing and you honk, you might get arrested for hate crime. <laughs> exactly. Don't honk you twice. You go honk honk. Don't honk, honk twice. No, just one once. or three, but not two. One is Heil and two is Hitler, yeah. I guess. No. You put your windshield wipers on, you might be in the KKK. <laughs> so you got to be careful. What's the greater liability for Canada? The 98-year-old Nazi or Kayla Lemieux? Mm. The shop teacher mm. with the fake... Don't you ever put her in the same sentence with a Nazi. (laughs) That woman made my year.